Okay, so welcome guys. So today uh, we are proving uh, these two properties of uh, orthogon uh, orthogonal uh, matrix, uh, which are very common uh, in the linear algebra. Okay, so the first one is that A be a real um, by a matrix, uh, which is orthogonal, uh, means that uh, A times a transpose is identity matrix. Okay, and the proof of the length of the each eigenvalue is one. So uh, eigenvalue means that uh, x is a non-zero vector and such that ax equals to lambda x lambda is some uh, complex number. Okay, so okay, so a okay, so the a is that uh, very easy, right? Because ax is lambda x and uh, a t. Uh, so we can times a t, right? So a <laughs> is also lambda a t x, right? And then we can do the same things here because we can times this. Okay, x t. So this is x transpose. Okay, and uh, so this is identity, right? So x t x. And what is this? So this is so lambda is a number, right? So we have this. And then this is just lambda. Uh, uh, also another lambda x, right? So this is the lambda no none of the lambda x. Basically, it's absolute uh, the magnitude of lambda times x. So we just use this. Okay. So uh, sorry, this is sorry. Uh, yeah, this is norm of x. Uh, norm of x, which is defined to be x t x, right? So this is norm of x. So from here, we know that uh, we can delete. Uh, we can delete this x. So what you have is lambda is one. So the absolute value of lambda is one. Okay. And uh, uh, B is also a very common problem. Say that uh, A be a real uh, three by three matrices and the determinant is, uh, is one. Okay. So uh, so usually uh, people like to say that A is talk about a uh, called S O three. Okay. So this means that the uh, uh, then prove that A has one as eigenvalue. So this is very, <coughs> a very interesting problem, uh, because <coughs> in 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 the A we only know that uh, the de determinant, <coughs> we only know that the eigenvalue, the magnitude of eigenvalue is one, but we are not restricted to the exactly one, right? We only prove that the length of the magnitude, and uh, we only add uh, one condition is that the determinant is one. Okay, so the proof is that uh, recall that uh, when we do the eigenvalue, right, we just use a minus lambda uh, i. Okay, so this is the if you write it written down, this is the if you can write this, so you get something like this, right? So this is the uh, I should say the three by three, uh, three by three. Uh, sorry, sorry, it's the uh, cubic equations. So cubic equations. Uh, okay, and, and with coefficient uh, in real, right? With coefficient in real. So we know that uh, there are only two cases. The first case is that the uh, three of roots are uh, all real. And uh, the second is that uh, one of it is real. That's called alpha. And the uh, uh, another, uh, I should say, other two are complex conjugate to each other. Complex conjugate to each other. So let's say one is beta, one is beta bar. Okay, and then we we also know that the determinant of a is the product of eigenvalues. So the first one determinant. Uh, so in the first case, the determinant of a is one, right? So this is alpha, beta, gamma. Right, and uh, and for this one we say that uh, it's it's one, right? So so there are uh, eight classes. Like like alpha can be one or minus one, beta can be one or minus one, gamma can be one or minus one. The problem, but the problem is that their their product need to be one. So their product need to be one. So so if they all are, if they are all one, then it's good. Then otherwise, there are two of lengths minus one, then one is one. So you always get sum of length one. So sum of length is one. Okay. So we prove the first case. 
And for the second case, we have the alpha, beta, beta bar is one, right? But we know that the, the magnitude of the each eigenvalue is one. So beta, the norm of the beta, beta is one. Uh, I, I, uh, okay, I should say beta squared. Yeah, so beta, beta bar is one, right? So the, this is one. So alpha is one, right? So this real must be, must be one. Okay, and uh, that's it. So this is the two basic eigenvalue, uh, eigenvalue properties of the orthogonal matrix and the special orthogonal matrix. And I will see you guys in the next uh, linear algebra videos. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.